Come in. Hi, Nina. Hi, Emma. So I told you a little bit about this week's story, right? Yeah. Can you fill everyone in? Oh, so we heard this person researching um, about bugs that live in people's houses. Yeah, so for the first time, researchers went into people's houses to see what kind of bugs, specifically arthropods, which are bugs with skeletons, live in people's homes. So should we talk to the researcher? Yeah, totally. His name is Dr. Matt Bertone. So yeah, we went into a bunch of homes and we basically crawled around with flashlights and tweezers and uh, things to suck up insects and and uh, collected all the insects and spiders and millipedes and kind of creepy crawlies that we call arthropods uh, from these rooms. Maybe critters. Critters, yeah. We like to call them critters here in my lab because I do sometimes encounter worms and slugs and things like that that aren't arthropods. You were trying to guess how many you found. What was your guess, Nina? I'm not sure. Maybe about a hundred. About a hundred. We went to 50 homes and we collected over 10,000 specimens. Like 10,000 in each house? No, not in each house, luckily. Um, but uh, from all of the homes, we got the 10,000. Hmm. We've found bugs in our house, Nina. What kind of bugs do we have a lot of? Ants. We have, like, Ants. so whenever we spill food places, they just, like, a big, big, humongous trail of ants come <laughs> running. It's, like, yep. really big. Well, we did find a lot of ants in homes. That was one of the groups that we found in every single home. Sometimes when I see a big trail of ants, I run to my mom and dad and tell them to clean them up right <laughs> away before everyone goes to bed so that the ants don't bite us. Oh, well, luckily, a lot of the ants that come into homes don't bite. And I, so, and I have a feeling that Things like spiders are scared of humans. That's, That's what great. I've been thinking. You're, you're absolutely right. They are much more afraid of us than we are of them. I did, however, when I was sucking up one of the ants in one of these kitchens, and these carpenter ants were coming into the kitchen and stealing the cat food. Wow. Um, and uh, so I went to suck one up, mm -hmm. and uh, they spray formic acid. So they don't sting or bite. It tasted like a really bad lemon. So that was one thing. What could kids do if they see bugs in their houses? Well, first, it, it's nice to observe them. And then when the next time you see them, you know whether they're something that you might have to be worried about, like hopefully not bed bugs or cockroaches, or it's something that you can just watch, like a, a spider in its web, which can be actually fun to even feed or uh, just look at and see what it catches. Mm. Okay, can you say thank you to Dr. Bertone? Can you say thank you? <laughs> thank is it Bertone? Yes, it is. Okay. And, and you're very welcome. And uh, it was nice talking to you. Thank you.